Hey everybody, Rob here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best performance chip options on your 2006 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. So here we're going to have two of our most popular tuners. The large one here is going to be the Edge Evolution CTS2 programmer. And the smaller one over here is going to be the Super Chips Dash Pack programmer. Now both of them do look very different than each other, clearly in size and the fact that our edge is not going to have any buttons, whereas our super chips will have a few buttons on the side. But that's not going to change how they work. Both tuners are going to do relatively the same thing, give us the power and torque we need, and be able to tune our vehicle to however we need to. And whether you're towing a lot and you need that extra power because you have that trailer behind you, or if you just want to improve your gas mileage, a tuner is going to have a lot of different benefits. A lot of the main reasons, like I was saying, is you're going to be towing, you need that power. Or you want some better fuel economy, or maybe you just want to be able to see what's going on with your engine and monitor everything. Maybe you go off-road a lot and you want that power to kick in when you need it. There's a multitude of different reasons that you might want a tuner, but again, they're going to give us a lot of different features that we can use each one depending on how we want to use it and what exactly we're getting out of it. Each tuner is going to allow us to tune the engine and the transmission to optimize it for what we're doing. So if we are towing, we're going to be able to set the engine to give us the power we need and set the transmission shift points rather than setting it in an economy mode where we may not have that much power but we're getting the best fuel economy ever. Now each one of our tuners is going to mount somewhere on our windshield. They're both going to come with the suction cup mount so we can easily mount it where it's visible but it's going to be out of the way so we can drive. Now, as far as the installation goes, it's going to be extremely straightforward because all of our programs and tuning capabilities are going to be built into the tuner and we're just going to have a plug that will plug into the back of them and that will go to our OBD2 port and plug into our vehicle. Now I personally have had both of these tuners in my truck and experienced the before, the stock mode, and then also what it's like with having each of these in there. Now clearly you can go off the numbers that are there, but what really everybody wants to know is does it actually work and what they mean by that is, is can I feel a difference? Because you can tell me that I'm gaining all this power and I'm getting this and that, but if I don't see any difference at the fuel pump of saving money and I can't feel it when I push on the gas pedal, it's really not worth it. So we'll go over in detail what all, both of our programs are capable of doing and then I'm going to give you my honest opinion of what I actually felt with each of them. So if we talk about towing first, I towed the same trailer with the same load several different times, stock, and then with each one of my tuners. Now really, I immediately could tell a difference once both the tuners were in that tow mode or in the mode to where it's tuned specifically for towing. The biggest thing that I noticed right away was the throttle response. Don't get me wrong, neither one of my tuners made it feel like it was a completely different truck, but if you've driven any of the GM trucks, the Silverados especially, when you push on the gas pedal, there's a little bit of a hesitation to it. But whenever you're towing a trailer, I really don't like that because when you need to take off or you might be on a hill with a heavy load behind you, that little bit of a delay makes a big difference. And in both of our tuners, that delay is almost completely gone. That is one of the biggest things I noticed with both of them. So when it comes to towing, both of these do really well. You can feel that presence of the extra power. Now again, another big thing a lot of people are going to want to know about is does it make that big of a difference when it comes to fuel economy? Well, I went ahead and ran my truck and kept track of my mileage and how much fuel I put back in it and did the math at the gas pump. Well, without anything on it in a stock tune, I was getting somewhere around 15, 16 miles to the ga gallon on average. But once I put both of the tuners in and I had it in economy mode, which is going to be specifically for saving fuel mileage and trying to get the best that you can, both tuners actually gave me almost four miles additional to the gallon. And it's not because the tuner was saying it or my truck was reading a certain on the odometer. It's how many miles I went and then I figured out how much fuel I put back in the truck. So there's no miscommunication between the truck and the tuner. I just did the math simply by myself and I could see a four mile per gallon increase from each one of our tuners. Now aside from the power and the fuel economy, both of our tuners are gonna do a lot more for us. They're each gonna have a customizable display so we can see any kind of engine and transmission parameters at a quick glance. 
If we're towing, we want to keep an eye on our transmission temperature. We can set one of the gauges on our screens to display that at all times. I do have to say I like the Edge more only because the screen is quite a bit larger. As you can see, it's going to have a full 5 inch screen, whereas the Super Chips is only going to have a 2.4 inch screen. Well, part of that is, is because our Super Chips is going to have buttons on it, so you can scroll through and navigate your way through the menu, but our Edge is going to be a full touch screen. So whenever we want to click on a menu or click on a certain gauge, we can just touch it and it'll react. The fact that the screen is that much bigger does make it a little bit easier to see and a little bit easier to navigate because we don't have to worry about going up and down on some buttons trying to get to a certain part of the screen. We can just touch it. Now don't get me wrong, having a larger screen is going to be nice because it's easy to see. But also, you have to keep in mind, this is going to be a lot smaller of a footprint on our dash itself. So even though this is going to be easier to see, it is going to take up more space on our windshield or the section that we have it mounted up. And this one may be a little bit harder to see, but it doesn't take up quite as much space. However, I do suggest, and I always like the look of it, each one of our tuners is going to have a custom dash mount made specifically for your Silverado. Now they are going to be sold separately, but you can find them here at eTrailer.com. Now as far as the specific features from tuner to tuner, they're going to be very similar. The menus might look a little different, but each one of them is going to give us four levels of tuning. Five if you include the stock tune itself. So we'll have the stock tune, we'll have level one, which is going to be for your transmission only, so it will not affect the engine at all. It's only going to change the pressure of the transmission fluid as well as the shift points so we can get a better shifting, a little bit firmer, but again, it's not going to mess with the timing or anything with the engine, the fuel air ratio. We'll bump that up, and again, it's going to tune the engine and the transmission together. Then we can move it up to towing mode, which is going to do both. It's going to change the parameters when it comes to the transmission shift points, but as well as the engine, so we can really optimize the performance we get when we're towing a trailer. Now level four is going to be the maximum on both of these, and that's going to be extreme. Now what that means is it's going to advance the timing, change the fuel curve, and also play with the transmission temperature, pressure, and shift points. That way we can get the maximum performance out of our truck without any regard to fuel economy. So when it's in extreme mode, it is really not looking to get the best fuel mileage, it's looking to get the best performance. Now again, with both of these, it's going to have a really nice feature that more and more we're seeing in tuners. Both of these are actually going to have a diagnostic trouble code shooter in them. So that way, if we have a check engine light come on in our truck, we don't have to worry about unplugging the tuner. We don't have to worry about taking to a shop because there's going to be a built-in code reader in here that will let us know exactly what's going on. And it will give us the code and give us a description so we can look it up later and figure out the problem. I really feel like both of our tuners are extremely versatile and are a great choice for our Silverado. Both of them are going to allow us to tune our truck specifically for the application we need it. If we're having a, hauling a heavy trailer, we can throw a tune in for that, but at the same time, if we unload the trailer and we just need to get around town and want to save some fuel, we can throw an economy tune in. I just feel like the Edge CTS2 is a little bit more versatile though. And if we look on the back here, our Edge is going to have an RCA style cable, and that's because there's an expandability so we can put a backup camera in here as well, so whenever we do put it in reverse, the image will display right on the screen. Now there's a few other things that you can actually expand the Edge with, and that's why I just feel like it has a little bit of an upper hand versus the Super Chips. And after running both of these on my truck, I definitely think they both work really well, and it really is going to come down to a personal preference. They both gave me about the same gains when it comes to horsepower, at least what I could feel. And as far as the gas pump, again, negligible difference, right about four miles to the gallon. So it's going to come down to whether you like the really large screen with a touch screen and you want that expandability, possibly throw a backup camera or other accessories on there, or if you want a small compact package that you'll feel more comfortable with using the buttons. Either way, our Super Chips and our Edge tuners definitely put a feel into the truck. But again, I'm Rob here at eTrailer.com, and that'll finish up your look at the best performance chips for your Silverado.